Hello, it's Sarah. I'm back for part two of our February art journal page. And listen, guys, I tried, but I just couldn't get over that I turned that peach. It wasn't what I wanted, so I did it again. I did basically the same thing. I jelly printed little bits and bobs of the same colors, but I stenciled with white, and I just used the one that didn't have that ink on it and did it in three different places and came back with my daisy stencil. So basically the same process, but nothing turned peach. I wanted to keep it white. Um, what else did I do? And then I just started to add, because I got carried away, but I figured, oh, I didn't show them this yet. So I really want to keep the background in the background, but I wanted it to have a lot of interest. And I started adding some circles with white. I may put a little bit, no, I think I'm going to do some stamping, but I really want to keep it like, I want to put, I'll put some dots. So these are just different stamps, but this is with paint because I don't have a white ink, like stamping ink that I could use. And I'm just going to continue adding more um, color on top. Well, it's white on top of all that color because I just want to mask it and make it push it really back into the background. So that's good. And the white is sitting on top of the white. I love it. I'm so happy. This is really making me happy because this is a lot more what I had in mind. And that's what I love when I start to create and it, it starts to come together in a good way so yeah I mean obviously things are gonna happen like when you don't clean off your tools you're gonna get ink that messes it up so it's probably best to to definitely clean up your tools beforehand um, let's see I have this little heart stamp and some lettering which I don't really need but they are usually this might be a good one I want more hearts I don't have a like bigger heart stamp. You know, it's funny when you're trying to do a theme project and like you realize like I don't just buy heart stuff, I guess. You know, I have lots of flowers. Oh wow, these are so cute. I actually made a couple different flower stamps, different sizes, like I carved them. This one's more of a sun. More circles. So I think I'll do... And you may think I'm getting carried away, but really I want the house to be, and you can still see the color, but I've dulled it down. So instead of just putting gesso on top, like you would see in a lot of videos, um, I'm, I'm doing that, but I'm also using mark making tools to do it. So I'm just creating more, um, I don't know what I'm doing, guys, look. <laughs> I'm having fun. That's mainly what I'm doing. You always have to make sure you're having fun. Okay, one more of them. So that's what I said in the beginning, right? Circles and hearts and flowers. I do think I want to stamp. I could use gold. I think gold is a good way to go. Because I always, or like a, a metallic something. I really love this. I wish I had metallic stamp. I mean, um, ink, ink block, ink pads. Because I have this, this could be pretty. It's kind of teal. I don't have a light blue. This is called Ocean. It's back there, but do I really want to? I want hearts to come into the foreground, so I'm not. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it, and I'm just going to stamp some of these hearts. Maybe I'll use... I want a light color. I could emboss... I want a really light blue. I don't have one. I'm going to try... I'll try this on... Um, a piece of scratch paper first. Oh, that'll look pretty. I just 
just love having a little bit of print. I do. I love that. And I think I might do some hearts in that color because you know what I'll do by the end is float around everything. I really, really, really love this. I'm really tempted to just put a few hearts. Maybe I should do them in pink. I have a really light, I have fuchsia. I have so many pinks because they were never quite the pink that I wanted. So I have these two archival. This one's called magenta hue and pink peony. And this is called fuchsia. I think I'm going to try this magenta hue. I like it. Now that I have so many white areas, and um, like I said, a lot of it will just get covered because I'm going to put the house and the fence, but maybe those hearts will shine through. And they're very subtle. They're not. All right, cool. I'm happy. That's my background for now. All right, so let's put that aside. And I could add way more white after, too. Okay, we'll see. All right, but for now, now what I want to do is create my focal image. So remember, it's a house, a chimney, so something like this. A little, just a happy little home, right? I love, love, love this. So I'm going to get my pencil. And basically, you know what, I'll use my ugly... I just want to get an idea of how big to make it. Let me zoom in. I'll zoom in a little. Sorry, I just had a yogurt. So that's kind of good. Maybe we'll make it wonky, right? I like a wonky house. And then the fence is going to go there. The chimney. And then there'll be hearts coming out the chimney. And we'll put some type of word over here and some more hearts I mean I could put clouds in the sky but I think the house so now I can see perspective wise how big I want to go all right so as I now I can set this over here and kind of sketch that out um, let's see Do I really like the wonky roof? I think I do. So what color, uh, oh, you know what? We need a chimney in this same. So the chimney's just gonna be about, I'll use this piece. So like about that big. Is that too big? We shall find out. Then I wanna use, um, for the roof, I kind of wanted to use a tannish color. I don't even know. I did end up doing a few more prints this morning because um, I redid my page, so I had to stamp off and stuff. And I was going to use this. Remember, I wanted to use the um, print, like the words. So I have this one, this one. Here's the pink one. Look, I did this just all blue. Has no variation. Trying to keep it not purpley. Well, ah, look at that. I have a gold, like a yellow. And I have this is kind of pretty. I mean, it's very soft, but I really like that. And I think I might stamp on top of it with some black ink. And I have a couple different, we could do music notes. This is called Dream, I believe, and then I have this is Script. I have Home Sweet Home. That's like, I mean, it's kind of small. But I could just go Home Sweet Home all over it. I don't know how that would turn out. I think I'm going to go with this one, the Dream. And the thing is, I may not get a clean, but I think I'm going to go with black ink and just put it right on top of that. Um, 
They're upstairs, babe. I kind of like this. So what does my house look like? This is really pretty, too. And it has that black writing of, like, all my hoop words. This is my favorite um, word stamp because it's all positive, good words. That could go on the roof. I think I want to do that. But I think this would look just as fine. See, it's all the decisions I have to think. And I should have thunk of them before. But I think I'm going to go gold. Because the pink or this one. I'll do this one and that one and, we'll, and I'll decide. So I'm going to use just black archival. And... This way. I'm going to put some pressure. Hopefully it'll... Eh. I like it though. I like that. I wish it came out darker, but that's okay. I don't, maybe my ink pad isn't as... Um, it says new in July, so... I don't know. I need fence too, so maybe I'll make the fence out of this yellow. Kind of like this. Sorry, I'm just giving it pressure. That looks good. And I think that's going to be wide enough. I like it. All right, so let's decide. I think I'm going to make this my roof. So this is my house. This will be my roof, so I kind of need to, where's my little cheat sheet that I did, this one, I need my roof to be this size, I really like the hope, I didn't get hope in there, but it's a little too straight too, but whatever. I don't like it that tall, but this is all the, it's kind of a small roof now, I don't think I'm going to, yikes, hey babe, okay honey, brought her back out because she will definitely, you know what's a good idea to do too, you should um, maybe make your pencil marks on the reverse so you don't end up doing what I'm doing. But the only thing is, obviously, if you're reversing it, um, you have to consider, like, if I'm doing it a wonky shape, then the tall part's going to be on the other side. Let me go back out. I'm so sorry. I always forget. But, like, I could, I could actually cut this into a template if I really like the shape of it. But I should be able to just eyeball it. So basically, I'll go over to Hope and down to Wish. I think that's going to fit. Yeah, I'm going to try it. And this paper is going to be so nice to collage with because it's not thick. It'll just stick to the um, surface so much better. When you collage with thicker papers, it's just harder to get it stuck. So let's see if this is going to fit. Where's my... Here we go. It's a little big. I'm going to push it to the side. And then... I think that's going to fit. And 
and it's not popping as much as I'd hoped. But once I um, float around it, it'll be good. Then we need, oopsie, hold on. It goes like that. So now I need my, up. Oh, there was part that I, here we go. This is going to be the um, chimney. straighter and then we need some hearts maybe I could do I love the way this pink turned out so much I kind of want my hearts to be a little bit different but I think the way that one is it it used the same color so one two and then the hearts are that color too so I could actually punch them out but I think I'll just draw them so I'll go off camera and I'll do that and then for the fence this would make a nice heart all right but for the fence, I was going to use this, right? So I'm going to get this out and get a straight cut across here. Hopefully, I'm kind of lining it up with the words. And then this is six inches, so I'm going to cut this into a six inch section so that it fits so six inches is right here so the words aren't going to be I can actually come back and put a few words so I'm going to take this um, the girls are here so you may hear some I think they're jamming in the basement and then I think the fence could look good. How tall? Oh, wait, wait, I didn't finish going six inches. So six inches from here. And that's going to go across the bottom. But I'll come back with some more stamping. I'm just going to go, I'm going to add a little more stamping here. Which one? No, this side. Um, and I don't know what I'll do for my fence. See, you know what I'm thinking? I could cut it with an X-Acto knife. I may, oh, you know what? I probably have like a, a die. But I don't know if I do, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, because I really could just do post, 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 and crossbars. That's probably the easiest thing to do, and I really didn't need to cut this to a measurement if I'm going to do that. But I just did it like this because if I did it with an X-Acto blade, but that would be so time-consuming. I think I'm just going to do it this way. And I'm going to adhere my house first so that I can kind of figure that out. So I'll go off camera and cut out some hearts, and I'm going to adhere them with my new collage podge which basically it's mod podge just a different brand this is by Aileen's and I'm very excited though I'm so happy that I changed it because it just it wasn't what I'd hoped when I did this one I don't that peach just really messed me up so um and this could still get much whiter like there's a lot of color still showing but I really like it all right so I will be back with this glued on, my heart's glued on, I'm going to try and think of a, um, a word or something to put up here. We should probably put a cloud. We don't need a cloud. <gasps> we could put the word in a cloud, something like that. Anywho, all right, and then a fence. All right, and you could put flowers. You could go crazy. Like, actually, this one has a little birdie sitting on the fence. So... You know, go for it. Oh, we have to cut out some windows and a door. So I'm going to go off camera, and I'm just going to cut little squares. What color? <gasps> you know what I love, though, for the windows and doors would be yellow, but that would be too much. 
because that I always put yellow inside windows because I think it looks like um, the light is shining through so let me see what else I could use for the fence no I think I'm gonna stick with this maybe I'll use a piece of hmm I'm gonna look through and I'm gonna cut stuff out for the windows and the fence and I'll be right back like maybe just this just plain this for my door yeah I might do that all right but I'll do I'll make all those decisions off camera and I'll be right back okay so I've got that all glued and I'm loving it this is the colors just make me so happy and it is soft um, so I've just added windows a door the chimney and some hearts I'm gonna add a couple more hearts and I think I'm gonna use this home sweet home stamp and put that up in the corner on a piece of I think blue cloud I'm not sure let's do the fence so I first cut it into the six inches and now I'm going to cut strips um, about let's see I think mine I put my house a little low but let's see I think I want them to come up so I'm just going to cut I'm going to cut a half an inch off the bottom real quick and then I'm just going to cut it into strips and then I'll freehand the tops so let's just do like half inch posts it's just easier I can do it easier on my cutting thingy majabi and then oh shoot you know what I'm going to need to use this maybe for my cross beam Durr. we need a cross beam so you gotta use I think that's a little wide so I'll cut it a little shorter I think about eight posts would fit on there so that's two four five six seven let's try and get this wish and hope Why not? All right, and then this I can cut down a smidgen. I'm gonna. I'll just use. I'll eyeball it. I'm an eyeballer, and I can actually just use the um, the print. Here comes my husband. He got caught in the rain on his walk. I called the rescue him, but oh my God, Kirby was with him, <gasps> but he was already drenched. This is a little wide still. I think I'm going to take it down. Maybe I can make two. I might want two. Anywho, so yeah, this is too wide. I'm going to cut it right down the middle. Ish. So my middle is a bit wonky. But I'm going to put that there. And we have to cut the points on the top let me just see I like this hope and wish so you just have to cut little I guess you know what I might be able to do them all at one time or a couple right there's three so you start in the middle and just she's all wet well it's fine she can come in she's getting groomed today see I think I might need two cross beams these are kind of thick but that's okay they're going a little high so this is just all personal preference whatever your um, fence looks like it looks like it's just a little a sun I'm gonna put a sun with the yellow <gasps> I'm gonna use the yellow and make a sun and I'm gonna put home sweet home on it to pull the yellow up and we will be done then I can float around everything to make the um, 
the, uh, the focal points stand out and then we'll do some um, pen work. So basically that's how my fence is going to look, right? I might put another beam across it too. I might do a double beamer. I may even cut them down a little shorter because just because I don't know it's all going to depend on proportionate wise but yeah that makes sense I might not even stamp the writing on it I mean I could and make a sun like I might have a big circle punch right here I have a really big circle punch I think I'm going to go find it because this one's not going to be big enough I need a big circle at least um let me see how big the home sweet home is. Yep, I'm going to put it in a circle punch that is, oops, right here. This one should fit. We'll see. See if I can punch out. This is huge. I might have to go down one. Yeah, this is a little too big. I think I'm going to go down. This is a three inch. I have this one. I have a two and a half. I think the two and a half is going to be perfect. And I didn't really love the writing on that because it's not bold. It's kind of like pixelated. It's like pixels. But I think it'll be good. And then I'm going to put a heart here. And I think I might end up putting a little birdie on the fence. Something down here. Maybe in this paper. Because I ended up using the same as the roof for the door. So I'm going to tweak it. But I think I am going to do this in this yellow. With home sweet home on it. But I think I'm just going to do it without writing. So that the writing pops better. I should have stamped it first. It's going to be, oh, schnuggers. It's going to be harder to get, um, It to stamp on here like perfectly in the middle that was a mistake but I do think that will pull the yellow up all right so I'm gonna go off camera get all this stuck down and maybe I'll even um, emboss the home sweet home and maybe then it would look bolder I might emboss this with black ink on here it's just gonna be tricky to, for me to line it up and get it centered but I think I'm just going to wing it and try my best. Hope for the best is what I always say, right? All right, so I'll be back and I'll have my fence on there and then it's time to float. Maybe that'll be a part three. All right, you guys, I'm excited. Um, I'll be back. I just wanted to show you, um, this fence is super tricky. So I'm actually taking my glue stick. It's just easier to apply the glue and this kind of gives you a little bit of play time too. Um, I just didn't want to lose these pieces by messing up with the um. And then I also have my tweezers because it just helps to be able to hold everything in place. And then I've just kind of already eyeballed it to know where I wanted these to go. Um, but this way they'll kind of stay put and then I'll go over it with the um, collage page after. But see, I like that. So now, I'm, and I'm, maybe I'll just do the same thing with um, each piece of this just to get it placement wise to stay where I want it because it is really fudgy when you're working with the mod, the collage page to get it in place. So I just wanted to share that, you know, use the glue that you prefer, you know, don't, you don't have to use what I'm using guys, you know that, all right, so 
This is a Yoohoo glue stick. That's my type of glue stick I like, but there's all types of them. And that's just going to get it on there. And then I actually have eight or seven. I'm not sure. I did just place them all down. So let me just do it again. Because you can make them wider apart if you want. This is the Hope Wish one. So I wanted to put that because my love definitely shows. This is all about home and love and making your home a place where there's trust. and So that's what I kind of was tr shooting for when I created this page. Um, and uh, that feeling that I have knowing that I have a home that I trust. Yeah, I think all I need is seven. So I will start. There's two in between. So I think I'll put this one right in the middle. That's how I kind of am able to eyeball things. If I just use halves and then you can half the half or whatever, um, it's very helpful. I mean, and it's not going to be exactly, but it's m to my eye. Oops. So, and it can be a little wonky. It doesn't have to be straight perfect because my house has a totally wonky roof. I think that people would want that redone. I was also thinking of putting like some type of um, an eave on that. By that I mean some type of a decorative scalloping or something. But I don't know what color I would use because, I mean, maybe just white, right? The whole, the whole piece has been done with um, just jelly printing and very um, sheer coats of paint. So maybe I could use, um, see on the actual, my inspiration, the, the book cover that I did, the um, art journal cover, I used a piece of lace, which why couldn't I do that? I could just grab a piece of lace. I think I might do that. And um, yeah, I actually, I did em, um, emboss the Home Sweet Home onto the sun and I really love it. I think it stands out just as I'd hoped. So that is not all the way glued down, but now I can go in with the Mod Podge, or I'm sorry, Collage Podge. I may as well just do it again. And then I'll stick some of the Collage Podge under the edges, but I'm turning this on its side a little because this is kind of on an angle, right? And then I'm going to put a big heart and a little heart. And I think I am going to do um, a bird on the fence. So I just have to decide. I think he's going to be this color. So I have to find a piece of that. Now if you want to do a birdie, you would just... Oops, this little heart is for my birdie. You're going to make, basically, it's just a little look. See, this is how this one's done. And I've done them before, right? So you're just going to kind of create a head area and a beak and a tummy. You can come back, maybe not that low. And a tail, like you can make a little split and make it however you want. This is very messy, but it gives you the impression that it's a bird. So when I do mine, I'll cut it out nicer, you know? And I think I might do it in this color and put it down here with that one last little heart. And my next part of the video will be finishing. Whoops, I gotta go up. But I'm in love. I'm so happy with the colors and everything. So thank you so much for watching. And come back and watch me finish it up in the next video. Thanks for watching.